Joel showed up last night. A 40-point, 19-rebound game as the Sixers knock off the Jazz. The Jazz actually lose back-to-back games for the first time since January 5th and 6th. That's how good they had been playing. ESPN NBA analyst Tim Legler saying, you know what? This performance is so good because not too long ago, Joel Embiid scored a half a hundred in a game. A half a hundred. And last night was better. He is your MVP front runner. Yeah, I thought the 50-point game against Toronto a week and a half ago was his signature moment to thrust himself to the head of the MVP conversation. But that was nothing compared to this game. I mean, he did everything humanly possible on both ends of the floor that a guy needs to to say, I'm the MVP of this league. And I don't think it's close right now, Scott, based on the fact that the Sixers are number one in the East. And I can't imagine what this team would look like without what Joel Embiid has become. Straight talk wireless, no contract, no compromise. He makes a compelling case, but it's really hard to get off the Harden train after last night either. Well, I, look, I'm, I'm still in the James Harden train. I mean, they're up a game on the Brooklyn Nets to a degree. Um, I, I still have James Harden, number one, Joel Embiid, number two, LeBron James, number three. Like I said, this is fluid. Joel was a beast last night. And I, I'm starting to ask myself this question. I've seen Hakeem Olajuwon play. I've never seen a big with the sides and with the dexterity and the footwork and the skill that Joel Embiid brings to the table. He might be, he might be the most skilled big with that sides that the game has ever seen. Um, and the way he played last night, I mean, they, they had key critical buckets down the stretch where the ball just kept coming back to him. He actually made a step back three to send the game into overtime mm-hmm. before Tobias Harris kind of took over overtime and they won that game. I've just I, The game has never seen a physical force combined with that skill work like Joel Embiid has. I'm, I'm, yeah, I mean, he's right. Okay, so when you say that to me, the first thing that comes to mind is the dream, right? Yep, that's what I said. Akeem, Akeem yep. Then I, because I'm a little bit older, I got Kevin McHale in my brain. Okay. And then I, then I, as I move forward, Tim Duncan. So but I kind of Tim Duncan was so fundamentally sound. I, I think what makes Joel so scary is like Joel moves kind of like a guard. Man, he hits people with euro steps. No, no, in no. transition, yeah, right? Spin moves all that, and he's already at the cup because he's long. And he's, his body is somewhat wide, so you can't get around him. That so. Shaq-like frame to yeah. a degree, right? But combined Shaq, with, yeah. the, with the footwork, that's yes. the thing that's scary about it. He, and when he puts the ball on the floor, he can get to the cup quick. I mean, you know, most big dude guys, when they put the ball on the floor, as you know, Jay, it takes them a minute to get there. They get there with their length, but not with their speed. I mean, he's turning. He, he's like reverse pivoting, turning, facing yes. you, shooting a jumper in your face, putting the ball down the ground, passing out of double teams, seeing things before it comes. And here's what's the difference maker for him, Key. We've always talked, it's not about, hey, you know, his endurance and, you know, will he get hurt? It's always been a question of his mindset and his conditioning. But but his, it, it, what happened to, like, when he had the back injury, was it a, was it just because of, you know, because back injury is usually because you're out of shape. Well, I think a lot of it, yeah, most of the time was because he's been out of shape. So And that's been a knock, give, knock on Brett Brown at the time because Brett couldn't say, really push him. I was about to ask you that. Do you give, I don't want to call it uh, – rebirth or whatever it is, but do you give whatever it is credit to the staff yes. now? Doc Rivers, Daryl Morey, a Glenn lot of Rivers. credit. Glenn Rivers, excuse me. You're right. We have to refer to him as Glenn. Yes. Um, and I'll also say this. I, I think there's always been these questions zooming around this team. Whose team is it? Which one would you rather have, Ben Simmons or Joel Embiid? Well, look, when Ben Simmons' name and articles came out that Daryl Morey made a huge push for James Harden, Zubin, and that Ben Simmons was – one of the names involved in that, this is Joel Embiid's team. It's his team. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.